Okay, I'm going to show you how to import the prop into your VRM model into Unity and then export it for VC face. If you haven't already made a project for your uh, avatar, um, in order to export for VC face using the SDK, we have to use version 2019. I've tested other versions, it doesn't work. Some of the other plugins have been updated, but VC Face SDK has not been updated. So we have to use 2019. So we're going to go and we're going to create. I think 3D Core is fine. Select 2019 from the drop down up here. And we'll create project. And as that's happening, we can download our dependencies. So we need version 99 is the latest one that is usable for 2019. You can use this in other versions newer than 2019. Uh, there are newer versions of UniVRM, but we need to use version 99. You can also use version 89, uh, but the link for the uh, this one, I just tested it, it works. And for the VC face SDK, uh, you can get the latest. As you can see, it hasn't been updated for uh, quite some time, but it hasn't been updated for newer versions of Unity either. It is still running. As it says here, you need to use 2019.4.x. So once we get those two files and our Unity project is loaded, we can add them in. First off, I'm going to add in our Unity VRM package. Uh, I have version 99 right here downloaded. Uh, and we want to import all. By default, it should have it all selected, but you can take a look or hit all. Import. And it'll ask us to convert from gamma to linear. Uh, we want to say yes. By default, when you start a new project, it will uh, be in gamma. We want to be in linear for this. And here it is, use recommended linear. That, and close. Now we can import our other package, which is our SF SDK. And just drag it right into the assets folder here. Once again, we want all of them. Hit import. Okay, and now we can hit save. So if it imported correctly, you shouldn't really be getting any errors. And you also have these three new tabs at the top. Unit, Uni GLTF, VRM0, VSF SDK. We can now import our VRM model. So import. And then here, when we're importing it, it's best practice to just have it all your VRM assets in one folder. So there we go. And save. Okay, once that's loaded in, we can see here that our prefab asset is here. We can drag it into the into the scene here, or you can just drag it into the hierarchy and it'll automatically put it at world origin zero. Here is our avatar. I already have an asset attached to them. So if we open up, we open up the prefab, go to root, hips, spine, chest, upper chest, neck, then head and we're going to be adding in our assets here so I'm just going to turn this one off for now hey everyone this is a uh, future Oppo Oppo here I forgot to mention that we need to when we bring in our avatar for the first time so you just made your avatar from Vroid Studio or wherever and you've just brought in a unity after we install the uni VRM and VSF SDK, we first have to export our avatar and then re-import it back in. The reason why is because the VSF needs a few features unlocked and the file coming straight out of Vroid Studio has those locked. So to unlock them, all we do is we select our avatar here. We're just going to go to export VRM 0.x and everything looks okay if you have any errors here uh, it will tell you to go through them and this is where you can also change some of the information but for now we'll just leave it here and you just hit export and i usually keep it outside of the uh, unity folders 
and I'm just going to put it over here for now. And I'm just going to name this test avatar too. Okay, and once that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to remove this avatar. Uh, but we just removed it from the scene hierarchy. We also need to remove it from our actual Unity files. So we can just right click on this folder here and we can delete. Delete it. Okay, and now we're going to go to VRM0 and now we're going to import that file that we just exported. So here it is, test avatar 2. And this is where we'll create the folder for it again. And you can give it whatever name you'd like. We'll let that load in. Okay, now that that's loaded in, here it is in our scene and it's exactly the same. The only thing that's happened is a few things in the background have just unlocked for you. Now you can export your avatar as, as normal. If you've already added a prop to your model before you export it, it will now be included in that base file. So you might wanna do this before you add any, any other props to it. Uh, and now when we go to export it, uh, VC face will not be giving us an error anymore. Uh, now you can add in the asset. So there should be a Unity package. If you just bring that in, it will automatically do everything for you. So you just bring it in and it will make a props folder and a folder for the asset. And it has a shader that I've created using the M-Tune. So we're just gonna bring this in to the scene here to make sure that everything is looking all right. The shader is working, I can tell, because it has this Fresnel and it has the outline on it as well. If we go into the shader here, I can turn the outline off. But I like to have it on for this asset. Okay, so this won't really matter if it's out in space because we're not going to be including our file. What we want to do is we want to click on our prefab. We're going to right click and we're going to go to open prefab assets. This will bring it into an isolated scene here. Everything by default is going to be fully opened. So we're going to go to head here and holding alt, I'm going to click on this arrow and then I can close these ones. We don't need them open. Then I can, without holding alt, I can click this and now everything will be closed. So I'm just going to turn off our spring once again and we can just take our prop here and we're going to be attaching it to the head. So you want to attach, so you see this little blue bar here. There you go. So it's in the scene and you'll need to position it onto your model properly. In this version of Unity, it doesn't show you this little toolbar, but if you want to move the, the object, you press W and it should bring up this guy, uh, E for rotate, and R for scale. I'm just gonna move it into place here, and it's, yeah, there we go. Awesome. Okay, once you have it in place, you can hit this little back arrow and we're gonna go into our main scene here. Now we need to add an animation. I'm gonna go into the assets folder here. You can add the animation folder into your VRM folder here or outside, doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go create folder. I'm gonna call this animations. And we're gonna open this up. And then while we have our prefab selected, and we go to the animation tab. If you haven't created any animations, you'll need to create one. So you just go create. And here we're gonna name it the asset name and what it is, it's a hat. <clears throat> okay, so from here, we can add in any properties to the animation. So what we're gonna do is we'll have our, our demon horns here selected. We're going to hit this uh, record button. Our character is going to go into a funky little mode. That's okay. That's normal. So first thing to do while we're doing record, any actions we do will be recorded. So we're going to turn this off. 
at frame zero, then go ahead one frame, and we turn it back on. And then we hit the record button again, and we are done recording. So now you go to preview, and the animation is here, so we can see that it's happening. We'll get out of preview mode. Okay, now we want to go to our blend shapes folder here. In here, we're going to have a whole bunch of things called blend shape, whatever. We want just the blend shape file. So this is what a uh, blend shape animation looks like. This is what the blend shape file looks like. It'll have all of these on it. We're going to create a blend shape clip. And we're just going to name it the same thing. That's and that's it. Now we want to go to our animations select our arc demon animation and this is very important we do not want this animation to loop it is a one frame animation so we don't want it to loop if it did have other animations uh if you wanted like a five minute animation then maybe you would want that to loop but the toggle on and off we do not want that to loop we'll turn off loop time right there we're going to click on to our avatar in the hierarchy here on our prefab and we can close all of these tabs with this little arrow here and we're going to go to add components default your view should look like this uh, we're going to be adding a vsf component and we want an animations vsf animations okay so here we go list is empty so we're going to add something to the list it's going to ask for a blend shape we're going to say we just made one, Arc Demon Horn Hat, right at the bottom there. Click that. And there's two ways to, to do this. We can either click and drag this animation over here, but if you accidentally click away, you'll the whole thing will go away. So you have to click on the prefab and then do it again. Or you can hit this little target button. And now we can select from this list, or you can search it, the animation we just made. And then you hit close, and there it is. If you want this hat to be on by default, then you can go to the next step. Otherwise, before we export, we want to make sure that this hat is off by default. Unless you want it to be on all the time, the toggle will still work either way. Now we have to select our prefab assets and we're gonna go to VSF SDK and export. Um, by default, it's going to go to the last folder that was opened within Unity. So I am actually going to go outside of our project folder, one folder higher, to an export folder. And I'm just going to do the demo because I don't want to overwrite my other file. And now it's going to go through uh, this entire process. And at the end, it will say complete. Awesome. Export complete. Okay. So now we can open up VC face and this is my other one, but we're going to go to add avatar and then the demo, open that one up, start. Okay. So here's our avatar and we can see that it's working and we want to go into settings, expression settings, and here's all of your expressions. And if we scroll down, we have our two of our hats here. So I already have one hockey set up for one of my hats, uh, but we're going to be adding a hockey for the Arc Demon hats. So I'm just going to say uh, Shift 9. Okay, so now we hit Shift 9, they appear. That means we know it's working. This one isn't working because I didn't set it up in this file. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. If you have any problems, it's most likely you aren't using 2019 version of, of Unity. You will get an error within VC face saying you can't open the file if that's the case. And if you are using the wrong version of Uni VRM, that's the only errors I was able to find. Otherwise, everything should be working. All right. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, give it that wonderful thumbs up and share it with your VTubing friends. Coming up in the future, I'll be live streaming here on my channel. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. I'm making more props and hats available on my store, so please look forward to that. 
If you made it this far into the video, let me know what you would want as a silly hat in the comments below, and hope to see you next time. Bye for now.